Hi, welcome back to Sanu Healing. Today's pick a card reading is on your person's current thoughts and feelings about you. I have three piles today, so we're going to be doing um, oracle cards and tarot. The first pile is the black clip. The second pile is the blue clip. And the third pile is the green clip. So I'll give you a couple of seconds and I'll meet you at your pile. All right, my pile number one. If you chose this black clip, this is going to be your reading. So the black clip. So how does your person currently feel and think about you? Um, pile number one. Your person, I'm feeling that they don't want to let go of you. Uh, there is a strong hold um, to your connection. You guys might not be in contact right now. They might be on in um, some kind of hermit mode. Uh, they might be a bit retracted from you. Um, I'm getting that they could be a little bit in a depressive or dark mood right now. Uh, but they definitely don't want to let you go. I'm also getting that your person is um, going could be going through financial or career trouble right now. Um, for some of you, they might have lost their job. Um, they, they have this very much heavy on their mind right now. Uh, they see that you're quite unique. Uh, they want um, they want to reach out or they want to get it. Hmm, maybe I uh, wouldn't say commitment, but they want to have maybe your relationship or your connection uh, going to the next level. All right, let's take a look at your oracle card. Oh, victory. Beautiful. This is number 28, which is a 10. Some kind of completion here between you guys. I'm getting that your person um, is wanting to reach out. However, they're not sure how you would react to them reaching out. I'm getting, especially if you guys have been in no contact for a while, I'm getting that they might be hesitant as to how you're going to be reacting. Um, they definitely want victory. They want to feel that you would be open to them. There's a lot of hesitancy here uh, from your person. I'm also getting definitely if it resonated that your person might have lost a job or have had some kind of financial trouble lately, um, they wouldn't be able to um, handle a rejection. So they definitely wish that you would op you know, welcome them with open arms, which you might not do here, pie number one. I'm also getting that they think a lot about you sleeping. Uh, they like to watch you sleep. Um, there is a strong uh, connection during the nighttime as well with you here, pie number one. Uh, there's a lot of uh, passion. Uh, they're very much attracted to you, very passionately attracted to you. And with all the gold in here in this card, uh, there is something very... Uh, warm about their connection here when they think about you there's a lot of warmth that comes uh, into their mind they also find you very beautiful very very attractive you might have a very specific way of doing your makeup or uh, dressing up some of you might like to dress up um, or change your hair very frequently color of your hair very frequently they find that very attractive but they definitely are thinking about a way to be victorious with you and to have success here if they reach out or to have success in terms of going to the next level uh, some of you actually might get some kind of proposal some kind of like reaching to next stage you know asking you for a date or um, asking you to go live together this is definitely on your person's mind point number one let's take a look at your tarot here all right so you have these three cards, so this is the High Priestess. You have um, the Three of Autumn, which is the Three of Pentacles. You have uh, the Prince of Summer, which is uh, the Knight of Cups. Oh, beautiful. So your person is definitely having romantic feelings towards you here, pile number one. Um, and there is a very strong connection here with the High Priestess. Uh, it could be a very strong spiritual connection here. Uh, it says, trust in your intuition, careful reflection before taking action. So they are definitely thinking very thoroughly about what they want to go and um, th what they want to go about and what they want to um, 
manifest with you guys. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, they definitely want to work on this. They are really putting the work on themselves here, I'm getting. They're working on themselves, on their finances, on their career, like I was saying. Um, it says, follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. So yes, they're working on their career. They're definitely building something here. Line number one, I'm also getting that they're building something for you guys, like a plan or something to get together and build something stronger with a stronger foundation, something that would go um, and become more long-term with you. Uh, I'm feeling that you guys almost didn't have a chance or it's like it was a, hmm, like a false start. They feel that they didn't get their um, complete chance with you or they had to let go of you too early. And with the Knight of Cups, they're feeling very romantic towards you. I'm getting a very dreamy quality of your person. They might daydream a lot about you. They dream about coming towards you, offering you flowers, showing their care. I'm also getting candies. They want to offer candies. They want to surprise you. They want to come knocking at your door and... Um, you know, give you some kind of gift and surprise. And um, there's a lot of wish fulfillment. They really, you, they see you as this, um, this wish that is coming true. And it's almost like, how could they, if you guys are away from each other or separated, how could they leave this? Or how did they let you go? You know, falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. So yes, I'm feeling that your person is, you know, kind of like um, tormented between building very strong foundation for their career, concentrating on that, focusing on their job, focusing on their career plans, focusing on their foundation, focusing on their stability, and being dreamy and thinking about you at the same time. So I'm feeling here, it's a lot of water and, um, and um, earth. Here. So there's a strong foundation being built for you guys. It's it's something that's going to be um, essential for you, the two of you, in the long run. With the High Priestess, I'm also getting that your person feels that they haven't shared enough with you. It's like they kept their feelings secret or, you know, before they could actually reveal as much as they wanted to, things got cut off or you left or they left, or something happened here between the two of you. I'm feeling with the Knight of Cups here, the Prince of Summer, that there is an energy of them coming towards you very soon. There could be some kind of contact. You might be receiving a message, a very playful message here by number one, a playful message, something more um, casual and playful. They definitely dream about you a lot with the high priestess here. I feel that there is a strong connection with the nighttime. Like I said, with the victory card, they feel that you um, you guys belong together, a very spiritual connection. If they didn't know this before, they're right now discovering this about you guys. Uh, you appear a lot in their dreams here by number one. Um, there's a very dreamy quality here. So there's a lot of dreams, daydreams, they might fantasize a lot about you, and there is passion as well. They want to come and flirt with you. Let's take a look a little bit more. Let's clarify these cards. Why do we have the Three of Pentacles? All right, it's clarified by the Hermit. So yes, they are working on their Pentacles, like I was saying. They're working on building this strong foundation. They have to step back. And I, I feel here you guys might have stepped back yourself as well. But definitely at least one of you has stepped back from this connection to work on their pentacles, on their finances, their career, their stability. Um, some of you guys might be Jewish here, might have uh, yeah Jewish ancestry. You might uh, have a Jewish grandma here, I'm getting. Um, but there's definitely here a need to go deep within and look for the truth. They're looking for the truth. They're discovering a lot of things here with the high priestess and the hermit. There's a lot of self-discovery happening here from your person's side. And this stepping back to work on their finances and career has also brought them a lot of insights when it comes to your relationship and your connection. 
They brought them a lot of insights as to who you are for them. And something is getting completed here. And it's, it's, a, it's a, actually, I'm feeling here, it was a very important and necessary time of away from this connection and this relationship and from you to bring you back stronger together here by number one. All right, let's clarify um, the high priestess. Okay, I have the king of summer. So yes, they definitely, like I was saying, they definitely um, hid their feeling from you. You know, the king of cups. King of cups has deep feelings, but is not always revealing those feelings. It's someone who is able to keep the feelings hidden. Hidden. Um, it says a romantic partner you can trust, excellent advice that come from the heart, getting involved in a cultural creative endeavor. Mature, devoted, honorable, warm-hearted. They might have hidden their feelings with the high priestess. And um, however, they have very deep feelings for you here by number one. With the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups, there is very strong emotional bond towards you here. They feel very strongly. I'm also getting that they're very surprised as to how strongly and in depth they feel for you because they... I'm getting that a lot of you guys don't know each other that much or haven't had the chance to share as much as, you know, these deep feeling are. And they definitely want to be victorious. If they want to step forward, they want to start sharing this, but they want to make sure that you would be open to that. So would you be open to that by number one? This is a good question to ask yourself if this person shows up your way. All right, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. All right, Knight of Cups, I have the Emperor. Wow. Hmm. These are very strong. You have one, two, three major arcana. So this connection for your person is a very strong connection. Something that um, was life-changing for them. Something that really meant something here. Uh, with the Emperor here, Knight of Cups, I'm feeling that they might be you know, controlling those dreamy, um, romantic feelings. They're trying to control them. There is a need to bring structure to this. They're using their logic uh, a lot because they want to build the foundation first. I'm getting a very stubborn energy here from your person who wants to build this three of pentacles. They're working on themselves. They want to show up as the emperor rather than show up as um, a lower version of themselves. And this is creating stubbornness and almost restriction around your connection here with the, the emperor. Though in their mind, they, they, do, they are doing the right thing. They feel that they're doing the right thing. They feel that they need to step away for a little bit and really work on themselves and really bring that emperor side of themselves so that they can actually build something for you guys. Let's take a look at what I have at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Ace of Wands, Ace of Spring, beautiful. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. All right, your person is definitely very strongly attracted to you. The Ace of Wands, they see you as this new opportunity for creative um, project. You guys might work together, might wanna develop something, and work together soon and um, I'm also getting here that they see so much uh, so much um, potential in this connection so much potential you have um, opened up a new desire that they didn't have before a new passion a new um, attraction new new way of being attracted to in relationship altogether this is very fresh energies for them showing up here and this is the general energy towards the connection. So this definitely ties up with this victory card. They definitely want to win with you. They feel that uh, you bring up this very passionate side to themselves. You know, the victory card reminds me of the six of wands. So there's a lot of passion here towards you by number one. I'm also getting that maybe one of, uh, I mean, at least for a few of them, this person might have a kid, a little girl. Yeah. There. Your person is feeling um, a 
is feeling almost tortured between their very passionate, very attractive feelings towards you, their emotions, and the need to control them, the need to be more grounded, more practical, more logical, and more, um, more stable in their lives. I'm feeling that very strongly. There is a, a strong um, need to control, but at the same time, a need to come your way. Alright, so I hope you liked your reading by number one. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I see you at your next reading. Bye. Hello, welcome back by number two. If you chose the blues, this blues um, clip, this is going to be a reading. So, by number two, how does your person currently feel? And think about you. All right, so you're the creative pile here. I'm getting that they feel that you're very creative or they could be very creative with you. There is something here um, about you liking to paint or draw or um, I'm also getting pottery or do things with your hands. It could also be gardening. Um, I'm also getting so you guys could be close to water, living close to water, or you could be doing things with water um, such as like boating or canoeing or doing things that involve water here there's a very strong emotional uh, bond with you guys you could be a, a water sign here Pisces Scorpio uh, Cancer they find you very sweet very positive in your energies there's a beautiful aura around you there's also a lot of mystery here all right, let's take a look at your oracle. Oh, angel of balance. You see all this blue? Wow, okay. Yeah, I didn't even look at the <laughs> oracles. It's number 48, which is um, two, right, a three, sorry, it's a three. So they wanna create something. There's all, it's all about co-creation here. We're talking about being creative with you. Um, and there's a lot of balance. Your person is finding you very calming very soothing you bring balance in their lives um there is something very tender there are tender feelings here you might have a past life connection here if you believe in that you might have a past life connection with your person um you might be at a distance as well and they watch your pictures a lot or your videos um some of you could be from the middle east or your person could be from the Middle East. There is a strong need to be close to you. Um, there could be something around this new moon here showing up in Libra. That's showing up soon in um, October 6th. I'm getting that there could be um, changes to this connection here showing up around the, mo the new moon of Libra. And Libra is all about balance. You could be a Lib like you could be a Libra, or your person could be a Libra. It's about balance here. So I'm getting a strong connection between this this card and uh, the Libra New Moon. And they feel your presence energetically a lot, if, especially if you guys are in the, at a distance. They will feel your energy surrounding them a lot. Mm -hmm. some of you might have long brown hair and they find that very attractive I'm also getting that some of you uh, want to have or you've discussed having kids together or um, you might have shared that you would like kids at some point I'm also getting that your person sometimes watches the sky at nighttime and they think about you a lot they connect with you um, or during that time when they watch the moonlight, the moon in the sky, or the or the stars. They feel lonely without you. There is a very strong feeling of needing you around them, needing your energy. You bring them a lot of balance. You bring you're basically complementing their energies here, part number two. There's a lot of complimenting and they want to create something with you and your project, a family, a baby, something um, that you can actually see in the material world here. 
you guys might be into alchemy or doing some kind of witchcraft you might like to again work with water you might like to do spiritual baths here you're very strongly connected to water here by number two all right let's take a look at your tarot cards okay you have the nine of pentacles nine of autumn you have the ace of summer ace of cups beautiful and you have the eight of autumn eight of pentacles so you have two pentacle cards definitely a need to bring something to the material world so your person is thinking as how they could bring this together or maybe bring up some kind of offer they can give you um, something tangible they can see or you know something that people can see people around you can see so you guys going public or you guys deciding to live together mm, and with this ace of cups they're feeling very strong emotions towards you very strong feelings it says open your heart to love the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies i'm getting that they realized this um this very strong feeling towards you they might even have felt this for the first time i'm getting that at least for some of you it will resonate some of you actually they've never felt this way before i'm also getting that they um they see you as this very pure and innocent person um, even if you don't feel like that, that's how they feel about you. There's a purity surrounding you, like almost like a fairy here. Um, some of you actually have blonde curly hair or blue eyes. And they feel that you bring a lot of peace. There's a lot of peace surrounding you. They, they also associate you with flowers, specifically with the lotus flower. You might have gone through a lot of troubles in your life and were, was almost reborn out of this trouble, but you kept your purity, your innocence, your, your sweetness here, pie number two. And I was saying there's a very strong connection with water. Ace of Cups, this is, this is a water card. And with these two, the eight and the nine of pentacles, I'm very intrigued with these energies here, pile number two. I'm getting that your person sees you as someone who's very self-sufficient, very strong-minded. You might be actually single yourself or independent. There is a strong uh, feeling that whatever you touch turns to gold. Mm, they feel that you're building something for yourself here, pie number two. You um, you might be very strongly connected to your parents or specifically your grandparents. You might have a very strong connection or a beautiful relationship with them. Or you might have had a relationship with them in your childhood. Um, I'm also getting that you might like to eat figs or they might like figs. Um, also, I'm getting that the, you guys might have your uh, birthday in October or in November during the fall time here. They, they want to start uh, weaving something together. It's like collaborating to prepare something um, that people can see, like I was saying. But, you know, something that, um, that shows up clearly in your life. So... You know, uh, building a project to the, together, building a life together. But they feel your strong independence here, the need to be your own. And it's like they're giving you that space. They want to give you that space by number two. They admire that about you. I'm also getting that they might like the color purple on you or they associate you with that color, which is also the... Um, uh, which is also the color of the crown chakra. So they might be receiving a lot of downloads right now or a lot of messages about you uh, from their spirit guides or their angels or even their ancestors here. I'm also getting that your person is researching you a lot. Uh, they might be looking at your social media or looking at the things you're producing here. I'm feeling there's a lot of creativity. By number two, you might be... Um, you might have a YouTube channel or some kind of social or platform that you show or showcasing your work on that. 
you might be someone who writes, you might be a writer, you might be publishing things on the internet, and they want to follow that. They admire this very strong creativity that you have. I feel that you might get a surprise around Halloween time. Um, they also believe that you're very strongly um, um, grounded. Or they're themselves an earth sign. They could be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. They could be an earth sign here and they want to ground this, um, this relationship or this connection. Um, I'm also getting that they themselves could be close to their grandparents. There's a very homey quality to this connection. You bring them back to themselves. It's like they've known you before. Like I said, past life connection. So they, there's this strong feeling of familiarity. You might remind them of maybe an ancestor or remind them of a family member. There is a strong um, familiarity. They feel comfortable. There's a comfort, exactly. There is a feeling of comfort. Uh, you might have taken care of them when they were feeling sick. I'm feeling that you might have made them soup or made them some kind of hot chocolate or something very comforting where they were feeling unhealthy or not. Or, you know, they, they definitely, even though it doesn't show here, there's a very strong Queen of Pentacles vibe here. They see you as someone who would be able to uh, be a good homemaker, someone who is... Um, who is taking care of themselves and who is building their career. Let's clarify a little bit more here by number two. All right, so why do we have the Eight of Autumn here? The Eight of Pentacles, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. It's clarified by the Eight of Spring, which is the Eight of Wands. All right, so they do want to reach out to you here by number two. Mm -hmm. They want to reach out. I'm also getting that they might have made a wish or an intentional list around the 8-8, the Lion's Gate portal. Um, so August 8th, they might have made a wish uh, to advance this connection. I'm also getting that uh, they could be going through a lot of things right now, a lot of changes in their lives that are regarding specifically their work. They could be maybe uh, being promoted. Something is changing when it comes to their work. This could be there could be a lot of stress right now, and they're trying to um, in, not influence you too much with this. Keep you protected from this. They also have a very strong attraction towards you with the Eight of Wands. Uh, but again, I'm getting here, you might be getting a message, especially if you guys are in no contact, around um, Halloween. Something could happen around that time uh, for your connection here, for some of you. Some of them feel that they're just putting out fires in their life. Things could be uh, a little bit stressful. I'm going crazy here for them. Um, unexpected events, things are showing up out of the blue, surprises, things that they need to take care of. Um, all right, let's take a look at the Nine of Autumn. So why do we have the Nine of Pentacles? We have the Six of Wands. So for the Nine of Pentacles, so again, more wands, energy, a lot of attraction, a lot of passion towards you, by number two. You very much know how to turn them on. There's a lot of passion your way. They want to come your way. There's a lot of victory, a lot of feeling of showing up for you. They want to be publicly recognized with you here. They want people to see you, to see them with the, this beautiful you this is you <laughs> they want to see uh they want to show off they want to show you off they also want whatever work you're showcasing whatever creative projects you guys are working on they want it to be known to the public world they want this to be obvious and they want to if you guys were secret they want to say to everybody that you guys are theirs there's a little bit of pride here to be seen with you 
Your person could be very charismatic or also could be someone who is in the public eye or have a very important position here. But they definitely want to help you. They definitely want to show you off. They feel that you are um, someone who's so grounded, who's so much uh, a, a good catch here in their lives. And they want to show you off like you're this unique unicorn that people need to see more of. But at the same time, they're very jealous and possessive of you. And let's take a look at the Ace of Cups. So why do we have the Ace of Cups here? It's clarified by the Five of Cups. Okay, so there could have been some kind of regret or feeling of um, things that didn't go well. Some kind of past... Um, I'm getting that they're healing some kind of past hurt here, Pine Number Two. Um, they're letting go of old wounds and they're moving forward uh, towards the new. You know, they're letting go of the old and they're moving forward towards the new. There's a very strong healing and um, uh, mending of the heart wounds here for your person. They might have gone through a lot of emotional traumas when they were a child. And you're helping them heal those wounds here by number two. You're helping them go through this difficult time. Um, and in fact, they did not expect that. They didn't expect this effect from you, uh, from, from you on them. You, you feel like this huge transformation when it comes to their heart chakra. They're, you opened up something. And also, I'm getting that some of you might have, some of them might have cried over you. Um, yeah, some of them may have actually been quite emotional about you. All right, so pine number two, let's take a look at your bottom energy, bottom deck energy, so that we get the general feeling here. So we have the magician. So pie number two, they're definitely working on manifesting you in their lives. They want to show you off. They want to they, they want to be there for you. They're kind of manipulating the energies now. And like I said, some of them actually made a wish during the Lion's Gate portal to be with you, to ground this relationship. And with the magician, they're starting to see that this is a possibility. They're working on their manifestation very strongly here. By number two, they're very confident that they can actually manifest you in their lives yeah all right so pie number two i hope you liked your reading if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's see you at your next reading bye hello pie number three welcome back if you chose this little clip the green clip uh, let's take a look at your person's current thoughts and feelings about you. All right, so pie number two, you're a little bit of surprise to your person. You're quite joyful, I'm getting. You bring a lot of joy and happiness. You could be quite sunny, quite optimistic, positive. I'm getting uh, almost a childlike attitude, someone who is carefree, spirited, um, free-spirited, um, you taught them a lot about freedom. They are able to express themselves towards you or they, they want to start doing that. They feel that they can actually trust you. They feel that they can open up to you. There's almost an electric feeling around you when they see you. You brought a lot of newness, freshness in their lives. All right, let's take a look at your oracle, anxiety. Wow, number 18, which is a 9. All right, so pie number 3. What happened here? <laughs> Something happened here. Um, your person is feeling like there's a lot of anxiety. They feel that something... Um, I'm getting here that something they said or something you said to them is has brought a lot of anxiety, stress, or uh, mental overthinking. They might be quite, um, uh, you know, stressed out or feeling like they can't sleep well at night. You have brought a lot of changes in their lives. It's like you are this lightning bulb here. 
but it's not always easy. These energies are not always easy. I'm getting that things have changed a lot in their lives. These events are not only related to you. It was meant to be, I'm getting. A lot of things were kind of faded. A lot of faded events in their lives were happening or are happening right now. A lot of closing of old karmic cycles and they're having trouble with that. There's a lot of overthinking in your parents, in your person's um, mind right now. And also I'm getting there's regrets uh, over something here. Some kind of regrets either saying something to you or not saying something to you. Or some kind of situation they're regretting here by number two. And they miss your energy. I'm getting that your energy is beautiful and they miss it. They wish they would have said more or they could have done more. Also, I'm getting that they, they see you as someone who is worthy of the best things in life. They wish they could um, give you something. I'm getting specifically pearl earrings for some of you. Something could have happened in a social setting. Maybe like a, uh, you went out at night in a gala or you went out in a wedding or some kind of social setting where it was a social event and things broke has have broken down between the two of you. You had a big fight. All right, let's take a look at the tarot. So when I was shuffling, the five of swords turned around right away. The other ones, I didn't see them. So the five of winter. Walk away from dishonest associations, realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness something that's not worth the effort so your person here might have had some kind of bad behavior because they were associating with the wrong people in their lives and they realized that mm, this has hurt your connection this has hurt the way they see you the way they behave towards you i'm also getting that these uh, are could be colleagues or friends that had influences or yeah very strong influence or interference in your lives or in your connections. I'm also getting that your person was trying to manifest something very fast with you. They could have been a lot more passionate or being uh, very sexually aggressive towards you, wanting to have something with you, and they realize that you're not that kind of person. They're learning that um, some behaviors are have consequences and some behaviors are hard to turn around. Um, there is a, a strong need to look at themselves here. I feel that they're going into a very strong introspective mode. And they might want to actually dissociate with from these energies. Let's take a look at the other two. We have the Eight of Summer, which is the Eight of Cups. Again, we're talking about leaving old behaviors, old uh, way of thinking, and also old emotions that don't serve us anymore. And we have the Page of Wands. Beautiful. So new energy is coming in for your person. I feel that this is you for them. You brought this freshness. I was talking about freshness, about you being fresh, new energy, beautiful, warm, optimistic, enthusiastic, creative, energetic. Princess of Wands. Sorry, Princess of Spring, which is the Princess of Wands. Page of Wands. So you brought this energy to them and um, also getting they feel they didn't deserve it or they felt that they didn't deserve it their behavior um called a lot of call uh, caused self-sabotage and sabotaging these um and beautiful energies that they were getting from you they are very much into introspection right now um they're going deep within here by number two they also feel there is a calling um towards more spiritual life here and they're really wanting to leave this Five of Swords behaviors behind. I'm also getting that they fall back into it sometimes, especially when they're around these people. When they're in social gatherings or when they're in social groups, they behave differently. Um, they believe things about you that were wrong or some kind of gossip about you that wasn't true, that people were um, saying things that were dishonest about you. 
and they feel bad because they misjudged you. They realize that this you're this beautiful sunshine or sunlight in their life. They want to get you back, or if you guys are not together, they definitely, if, if not, they definitely want to apologize. There is something um, that's on their mind here. They don't want to let you go. They're wanting to know, they want you to know that they're moving away from these old energies here. They want you to know that they are appreciating your vibration. They learn to um, get in touch with their, their own inner child. They've gone through a lot of transformation, a lot of deep introspection. And they got in touch with their inner child and learned to love themselves more. And they, in that way, they were able to connect more to your energy. They get you more. They see, you know, it's like... You showed up in their life and you brought this so much beautiful, creative, fresh, fun energy, optimistic, and they didn't expect it. And it's like they took it for granted or they behaved in a way that was not worthy of what you were given. So they realize that now. And I'm also getting there's a strong association with spring. You might have met during spring or something big happened during spring for you guys. Um... But they have a need to, they want to change things here, by number three. They feel that they didn't give this connection uh, an, a good try or they were, uh, they kind of stole their happiness away from their own selves, something like that. It's a very strong self-sabotaging energy and they realize it. They also see you as this beautiful fairy in their life. Um, there's a lot of fire, a lot of passion. You, they associate with, there's a lot of, uh, sexual energy towards you as well they miss you a lot here by number three your energy is incredible i'm getting your energy in their life here you might have pulled that energy away and they're feeling anxiety right now let's take a look a little bit deeper let's let's clarify the eight of summer later eight of cups you have the hermit so yes they're isolating themselves from the others these dark energies they're moving in they're doing a lot of introspection i was telling you they're going deep within with the hermit they're looking deep within here they're connecting with their ancestors they're getting a lot of mm, a lot of answers these days here by number three they feel that they need to commit more they need to commit more to whatever truly matters to them and they're willing to leave whatever old behaviors because they can't take it anymore. Let's take a look at the Five of Swords. All right, Five of Swords clarified by the star. It's a lot of hope to heal this connection here by number three. They feel that you are the star. You are the star. Um, they want to change things. This is not, they're feeling that they showed you the worst part of themselves and they're not the bad guy. I feel that they want to, Turn your head or like, you know, uh, change your perception of them. They feel there is a need to do that. They want to repair whatever was lost or what, whatever was broken. There is, they, they definitely see you as the star. You could be almost unreachable right now. You could be away from them. They feel that they're ready to move mountains, to move whatever, remove whatever old and bad behaviors or old relationships away so that they can go towards you. You beautiful energy is very strong in their heart by number three. They still feel it. They still remember it. You opened up a new door to them, something very spiritual, something very fresh, something new something um, amazing something like your energy was very unexpected almost so unexpected that they felt not threatened but uh, um, they couldn't believe that it was true or they didn't trust it or they felt like you might have been um, untrustworthy or they might have listened to others gossips or you know negative uh, talks from others yeah they didn't um, know how to take care of you or how to honor this beautiful energy that you brought let's take a look at the page of wands why is the page of wands here we have 
the three of autumn which is the three of pentacles yes they want to work at this they understand that your energy is beautiful the energy you brought is necessary in their life they want it back <laughs> They want you back. They're willing to work at this. They're willing to give their best here. They're willing to show up um, and be stable and secure. They're working, you know, I feel the anxiety here. They're working at that. They're working a lot on their mental health, their emotional stability. They're working on being more confident, being less uh, judgmental, being less uh, dependent on other people's opinion. Uh, they're really building something for themselves. They want to believe in the fact that they're able to do it themselves to stabilize their own um, their own life. But they're definitely willing to work at getting back your attention or getting back into uh, your good grace here. Pine number three. At the bottom of the deck, I have the general energy, which is the three of winter. Three of Swords. So yes, there has been hurt here. There has been heartbreak. Um, it says, reach out to others for comfort. You will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal with time. So they're feeling sad. By number three, they're feeling sad for their behavior. There might have been some cheating here. I'm getting, but not for all of you. This is just for some. But definitely sadness here in the person, a new person's heart. They feel that they lost this beautiful energy and it's almost irreplaceable. They want to come your way. They want to bring you protection. They want to show you that they can um, be this reliable, stable person in your life. There's a lot of regret here, part number three. And I see at the bottom, we have release, which is the death card. So big changes. I'm getting that a lot of changes are coming your way in this connection, part number three. Alright, so I hope you liked your reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Bye, number three. I'll see you at your next reading. Bye.